Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel of John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lift up, lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned be already because he, they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict light has come into the world but people love love the darkness instead of the light because their deeds were evil everyone who does not who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that whatever they have done has been done in the sight of God. This is the word of the Lord. Gentlemen, not the ladies, the gentlemen. It's Mother's Day. So let's give all the ladies here, whether they're mothers or not, a round of applause. <laughs> and that's the best way I could think of wishing you all a happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day is about women. And I took the readings for the day, that would have been in the election for the fourth Sunday of Lent, rather than choose the Mother's Day reading. Because I feel that it applies to mothers. I remember my mother defending me protecting, helping, making sacrifices for me. And when we talk about the love of God, we talk about the love of Jesus, which was sacrificial. My mother loved me with sacrificial love, just like Jesus did. In Isaiah chapter 66, I think it's verse 13, don't quote me. <laughs> it says, God loves us, or God saves to the people of Israel. He loves with the love of a mother. God loves us with the love of a mother. So certainly with my mother loving me, she was walking in the light of the love of God the light of Christ. And for that I can only be really grateful and thankful. Getting back to the, the fourth Sunday of Lent, we have a reading that talks about sin and death, those who die and those who don't. I don't know whether you can see that very well, but it's 
the snake lifted up on a cross and also the cross of Christ which he was lifted up on what that tells me that's in numbers the snake is in numbers the story of the snake being lifted up by Moses is in the book of numbers it points to Jesus Christ which is in the gospels him being lifted up for what purpose Moses lifted up the snake so that if the Israelites were obedient they would see the snake and then be healed because God had sent the Old Testament reading tells us God sent the snakes to punish the sinners the gospel reading quite clearly tells us that those who walk in evil, walk in the darkness, will die. But Jesus came for the pur purpose of giving us extended life. Life beyond this life. Life into God's kingdom, God's presence. And for me, that can only be a wonderful hope to live with by faith. We trust God, we believe what Jesus said, and we trust God. Jesus came as a teacher. Jesus came as a teacher. But he also came as a healer. Moses brought healing to the Israelites. Jesus brings healing and life, new life, to the whole world. You've seen the snake. You've seen the snake. It's an icon. And it's an icon for good. The very thought of Jesus lifting up the snake on a pole is used in life today. The Gospel reading says Jesus came in to the world to be a light to the world and to expose, expose all of the wrong that's going on and there's a picture of the light of Christ his cross cast in the shadow and in the shadow lies the snake and the sin, sins of the Old Testament but also the sins of the New Testament people You've probably seen this one before. It's a lamp. Oh, I've got one missing, but that doesn't matter. Oh, I've got something here to show you.
represents the union of Jesus Christ. The snake is an up like that on the pole. Who uses that as an icon? Pharmacies. You look at pharmacies, they have a snake on the pole. So these two icons, the lamb and the snake on the pole, are used by the people who serve us <coughs> in the NHS. And I must admit how I've been so amazed in what's happened in the NHS over the last 12 months. Yes, they've had to deal with death. And unfortunately, that's a fact of life. He's going to die one day. But they also work with the healing ministry. That gospel reading today says, those that walk in the light and do good, their good is seen. When Jesus' light comes into the world, it exposes all that is evil. When people walk in Jesus' life, it can be seen and it can be felt by all. And so I think in our prayers today, we need to be praying for the NHS and all the good work it does to give thanks for that. And pray that they may have the strength themselves to continue that work. Father God, be with us as we seek out Jesus and find his light, that we may be seen to do good. And as we do good, may the people see in the footsteps we walk in so that they can use us as an example of doing good. This we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Let us stand. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Of all the works we see in our own sea, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally God from the Father, God from God, Father from might, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came out of heaven, and we invite you to the Holy Spirit. And the Virgin and the Virgin. For our sake, he was crucified and the Holy Father. He suffered death in the grave. On the third day, he rose again. He appeared to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And he sees at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit too.
Let us pray. I first want to start this morning with a prayer that we've been given by a parishioner here this morning, and I'd like to read it out first. Loving God, thank you for mums and children and for all the joy of family life. Be with those who are grieving because they have no mother. Be close to those who struggle because they have no children. Be near to those who are feeling lost, lonely, fragile or afraid. Let your love be present in every home. Nurturing God, we give thanks for those who care for us, who have encouraged us and helped us grow, who have forgiven us and cared for us when we're unwell, who have supported us when times are hard, who have challenged us, who have told us about you. Help your church, this church, to have eyes to see and ears to hear the needs of all. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <coughs> doing prayers today for the fourth Sunday in Lent. In the glory of God's presence, the covenant of the law is sealed between God and his people. Jesus becomes himself becomes a sacrifice, binding them to a new covenant. Father, we know, Father, you know us better than we know ourselves and are well aware of the needs and pains of the church. We lift them to you in their healing love. We remember the Church of St Andrews and St George and the Church Leaders of All Saints. And we remember all the community centres in Stevenage today. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In our world, there are decisions to be made, countries to be governed and people to be honoured. We lift them now to your grace and wisdom. I'm thinking particularly today of the people who are suffering in our world from famine, violence, especially Myanmar, Palestine, Israel, Indonesia and Papua, Afghanistan. Lord, in, our mercy, in your mercy, in our neighbourhood and in our homes there are celebrations and there are tragedies times of hope of weariness and tenderness we lift them now to your parenting we remember today our families especially those remembering all the mothers on this mothering Sunday and all the people longing just to give their mothers a big hug. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In our hospitals and clinics, there are many people today in pain, many who are fearful, many who have lost hope. We lift them now to your comfort and protection. All the sick people on our prayer board, many people still in hospital recovering from the terrible COVID virus and other illnesses. Is there anybody you'd like to name today? Please do, do so. I'd like to pray also for Chris's friend, Julie, who's in the hospital, in the hospice today. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. As each day others die and enter your presence, we ask you for your mercy and commend them to your safe keeping. All the anniversary of people in our community who have died at this time, Terry Deer and Frederick Thompson. 
And particularly today, we're thinking of Sarah Everard and her family. A very sad day for them all. Father, in your mercy, yeah. as we walk through our lives in your company, we rejoice in your friendship and delight in your love for us all. Let's say together, Merciful Father, accept these our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us also end with prayer. Prayer for all saints. Eternal Father, look with love on your people of all saints and pour upon us the gifts of your Spirit. Draw us to you and to one another, that our growing unity may bring healing and life to all. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus Christ, who is full of truth and grace and bursting with light, stood amongst his disciples and said, The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. So let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. The Lord is here. Lift up your beautiful hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Is it indeed right, it's our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you freed us from the slavery of sin, given him to be born of a woman and to die upon a cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high, and through him you sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit, and made us people for your own possession. Therefore, with the angels and the archangels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Let's say to see you. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praise, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant by the power of your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine, may his be his body and his blood. Who in the same day that he was betrayed, he took the bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took a simple cup of wine and gave you thanks. He gave it to them all, saying, drink this, all of you, drink this. This is the blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom with this bread and this cup. We make this memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him our great high priest as our sacrifice and thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, 
in the presence of your divine majesty. Renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him and with him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessed and honour and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We all share in one bread. We do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We're not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper.
Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Notices. Uh, we're fast approaching each and Easter now, and uh, you'll recall what we normally do at Easter. We have a book of remembrance out for thoughts of those that have uh, gone before us. And we also take a collection for um, the Easter flowers, but also to help with the you know, the, for buying the flowers during the, the year for the church. So on, on that score, we can't actually put the book of remembrance out this year, because the idea of it is that everybody would look, look through it, so everybody would be touching it, and it's not within the rules of... Uh, keeping you all safe. Um, so this year what we're going to do is we've got these cards printed. If you've got people that you wish to be remembered, please put the names on one of these and we will pin them on the board. Um, and also we have envelopes should you wish to contribute towards the flowers for Easter and sort of ongoing church flowers. I'll put, I'll put them in a basket and I'll leave them on the table here with the purple clock on. Okay, I think that's all this week then. Yeah. And thank you for, for Brian for um, preaching today. Well to Brian for preaching today, today and all those that have uh, um, helped in the service and most of all for you coming and for, for especially for new people that uh, have started to come and it's really encouraging because eventually when we go back um, when people aren't shielding we should have quite a, a group of people so that's a that's a blessing and Brian talked about light and I very much see this church as a lighthouse a light that bu that's burning in the uh, in the oval, and hopefully it's a place where people won't hit the c can come who've hit the rocks, and and can recover and and get well. And lights are a very attractive thing, so lights very important. But we must remember that Lucifer, the devil, was the light bearer. He was the light bearer, so it's easy for us to fall into darkness. That's why we need that spiritual light of Christ to shine within us. The Lord be with you. And, also and the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the light of his Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Go in deep peace to love and serve the Lord. Oh, most thank you, Norman, for that. We've got the daffodils to, to well, we can't hand them out. So, as you go out, mothers or ladies, take yourself a bunch of daffodils. Yeah, so. So that's that's about all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hallelujah, hallelujah to mothers. I think I had one myself once. <laughs>